was reading this document the other day, and then I turned round and looked at my kid, you know, Sam, who's four years old. I just thought, my goodness, just over a hundred years ago or so, if Sam had been poor or orphaned or something, he would have ended up working in these awful conditions. I mean, can you believe it that kids of that age were working in farms, on farms, in the fields, getting up at the crack of dawn, long hours, or in mines as a a trapper or um, pushing heavy carts of coal. You imagine how frightening and how exhausting it must have been to work in those dark, claustrophobic places. Or in cotton mills um, as piercers or scavengers, you know, scavengers who used to have to go underneath the machinery whilst it was still working and pick up the pieces of cotton... Um, these environments must have been polluted. Well, they were polluted and there were accidents. The kids were working long hours. I mean, they were tiny, tiny children um, with very little to eat. Um, I don't know. And then, of course, you know, the chimney sweeps where they used to push young children, boys in particular, up the chimneys to clean them. Dangerous and dirty. There must have been so many deaths. And all of this, you know, cheap cheap labour, which I realise is happening across the seas as we speak, and I realise how privileged we are and, well, food for thought, really.